With the flip of a switch, the new Chat Central online community went live. It was the culmination of the first week of Chat Camp. Chat standing for Communicative Hope Through Assistive Technology. It came to be because we have a child who's nonverbal. And it took us over 10 years to find out how to communicate with him. Barb and Greg Tresnes were a driving factor in chat, making a financial commitment to the Burton Blatt Institute at Syracuse University. 10 years is a long time to not communicate with your child. And so we're hoping to raise awareness and bring local resources here to the Syracuse community so that folks in our situation don't have to wait 10 years. CHAT is named Communication Hope through assistive technology so that we raise awareness of how different folks communicate. There are five campers involved. Each of them has a unique way to communicate and all, all of the uh, children have completely different situations. It's exciting to see how they have come together, how they blossom seeing other children using devices just like them. The young people who take part in CHAT, including Barb's son Graham, have hopes, dreams, ideas, and abilities. It's through the use of augmentative and alternative communication that they can express those ideas. For those parents out there who are struggling to help the world understand that it's important to have communication support and therapists who understand how to support our children as they learn and grow as communicators, having an institution like Syracuse University backing us has been phenomenal. The Burton Blatt Institute is so honored to partner with the Tresnes family and the CHAT program because it's exactly what we are designed to do. That is to advance the civil, economic, and social impact and quality of life of people with disabilities in our society and around the world. Welcome to Chat News. I'm Leo. We have breaking news. Among the many activities as part of the week-long chat camp was a visit to the studios of YNN, where chat has a major supporter. Well, we welcome everybody here, and we certainly hope you have a great time celebrating along with us. Jason Benetti, an SU alum, is a big believer in chat. Syracuse sports fans know his voice well, providing play-by-play -play for the AAA Syracuse Chiefs. If all of these people in the stadium knew about these kids and knew how difficult it was for the kids and the parents alike and how just a little bit of assistance or a little bit of kindness changes perspective on the world for these people and we could change that, we could move that a little bit, just move the needle slightly, I, I want to do it. Benetti spent the week with chat campers, got to know them, become friends with them, and gain a key understanding of the importance of this program. That's why he's lending his voice and throwing his support behind chat. Some of those kids are sitting there typing away, I'm happy, I'm sad, I want to see this person, where are we going next? Uh, some of the things that they were providing in terms of communication for somebody who's nonverbal, those are the stepping stones that you can see and say, if we threw some resources at this, these kids would be significantly better off because they have ideas. That's the missing component for people out in public. They see somebody who's nonverbal or can't really move and they think, no ideas in there. It's not true. The hope here is that Chat Camp and Chat Club serve as a model at schools and teaching establishments nationwide, giving nonverbal young people something that many of us may take for granted, namely a voice. Keith Copeland, SU News.